Three teenage boys were playing in Racine's Root River near this storm drain around 5.30 on the 4th of July. In a witness statement, one of those teenagers told firefighters that he and his friends couldn't swim. I was stunned and shocked that anybody would be swimming in the muddy river. Herb Whitaker is a seasonal employee for the city of Racine. He takes care of the golf course that the river runs through. He says the water can get deep in some spots, six feet or more. It's usually quiet and uh, like right now the river's a little high and it's muddy because we had a lot of rain last week. He also says this pathway is a popular spot for students who attend the nearby Park High School. During the school year, all the kids come here and walk through here to you know take the shortcut from school. Authorities say a paddle border was coming around that bend right there when she saw two of those teenagers by the storm drain. Those teens yelled out, asked her if she could swim. She responded and asked why, and they said because their friend had gone under and not come up. That paddle border then alerted a nearby golfer who called 911. Rescue crews were quickly on the scene and pulled the boy from under the water. He was pronounced dead shortly after. Do you think there should be Maybe some signs up here letting people know, hey, maybe it's not a good idea to get in the water here. No, nah, I, don't, I don't think that would, that would make a difference. In Racine, Tim Elliott, WISN 12 News. The 14-year-old has been identified as Daryl Neal Jr. Firefighters say the current in the Root River can be strong, but yesterday it was relatively calm.